Buzz Lightyear mission log, Stardate 3901. After a full year of being marooned, our first hyperspeed test flight is a go. Who are you talking to? Uh, no one. You were narrating again. I was not. Just doing the mission log. You do know no one ever listens to those. I know that. Narrating helps me focus. Ready, Captain Lightyear? Ready as I'll ever be, Commander Hawthorne. This is exciting. A new adventure. I'm going to grant you four minutes to be off planet, but then you come right back to us. To infinity. And beyond. You are clear for hyperlaunch? Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Buzz, that was utterly terrifying, and I regret having joined you. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Why don't they answer? Hey, hey! Shh! The robots! The what? What is happening right now? Alicia? Oh, no. That's my grandmother. But, Socks, how long were we gone? Meow, 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 meow. 62 years, seven months, and five days. What? I hope you're ready for action. Because all we needed was a pilot. For what? To destroy the alien ship. I have a plan, and I have a team. Darby can take any three things and make them explode. I do this, and they shave a little time off my sentence. Okay. And what about you? Well, I thought this was going to be like a fun boot camp workout thing. <laughs> but it is not. <laughs> Did I get it? Pretty close. I need the... You know what's saying? The harpoons? Buzz! Buzz, right here! <laughs> the probability of survival with an inexperienced crew is 38.2%. Hmm, seems a bit low. Mission failure imminent in three. Grandma always said she believed in you. Two. One. That was a big swirly too. Oh, I think I need a bag. No, no. Please record your last words. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. Do not vomit inside the vehicle. If you are satisfied with this recording, speak or select uh. one. To infinity. Are you trying to get me to pull your finger? Don't fall for it. No, not like that. Ugh. Sorry, it's a thing your grandma and I used to do. Yeah. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for Lightyear arriving in theaters on June 17th. I'm Kuya P. Nerds Rule the World. As you see on the screen, I have a special guest, Mr. Efren Ramirez, who plays Airman Diaz. Efren, thank you so much for your time today. Sir, uh, permission to come on board. Yes, sir. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I have to ask you, can you tell me a little bit about uh, your character uh, of Airman Diaz without spoiling anything for the public that haven't seen it yet? Geez, Louise. Um, uh, what's up, my family? I, I, I first of all, just to be a part of Pixar's, you know, Buzz Lightyear. Lightyear is is I'm very lucky and I'm very grateful because I know Pixar. Every picture they put out is so incredible, and 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 it takes years to develop not only the story but to in the creation of this actual project. You know, they, 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 they really put in a lot of time, a lot of effort. So uh, not only in the story, but in every single character. And for me, such uh, I, there is such a joy to play Airman Diaz. I mean, he's a science engineer tech and, and he really helps um, uh, uh, create and develop these things for these astronauts to be able to go up to accomplish their new mission. And um, especially with Buzz Lightyear, you know, like you're working with the best of the best. And it was such a, it, it, it really is such an honor, not only to be a part of the story, but to live throughout the, the, the moments um, for what he's trying to accomplish. And I thought like, wow, what an opportunity for me. I love it. Did you get a chance to visit the studio? I, I, I did actually, I went up, up North and I saw the studio and Pixar is, is, it, it really is, um, uh, uh, just another world with with animation technology and sound, um, um, and 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 another another version of storytelling, which is so important. Um, and so when I was as an uh, an invited guest to not only explore the studios but to really be a part of this development of this character, Herman Diaz, I thought like, wow, what an opportunity, and to be able to be. Um, sort of like a representative of, of like the Latin community to say, you know what, hey guys, 
I'm no different than anybody else. You know, I, I'm just a, a kid from East LA who studied theater, who studied the crafts, who studied the work. And, um, and I, you know, since Napoleon Dynamite, everything changed and you, you know, I play characters and if I could lead with love and hope and wisdom and learn and stay with that curiosity, then, then it will be to infinity and beyond. And it's just a, such an honor to be a part of something great. I love it. And I got to tell you, I love the representation. I love that you're in this. And in uh, in that regard, um, to close out my last question, since I have little time, um, so yeah. excited to see you here. Um, this is going to like create new astronauts. This is going to create people wanting to get into this field. Uh, and, and hopefully, you know, uh, those of Latin descent. Uh, did this fulfill your NASA dreams at all? Did you have any like NASA dreams? And, uh, you know, maybe going forward with this, inspiring the youth uh, to hopefully go explore strange new worlds? Well, I, I got to tell you that, you know, JPL is right by my house, which, which is called Jet Proportion Laboratory. And there's a lot of um, science engineers who really give me great advice about having to work together and what they do, you know, as, as engineers. And it is so important. But they, too, come from, you know, from, from the ground up that they're no different than anybody else. You know, we just go to school to do good, work hard. It is possible. You know, I, I'm an actor. I did theater. You know, I went to college. You know, life was hard, but it's not impossible. You know, and for me, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's an astronaut I spend time with. His name is Her Jose Hernandez. Um, um, uh, uh, and and he, he was such a wonderful person. He talked about how, how there were so many obstacles, but you know what? He really continued on and, and went after his dreams. So, you know, like in Napoleon Dynamite, Pedro says, Go after your dreams. Reach for the stars with Pedro. You know what? We're no different than anyone else. Whatever you want to be in your life, um, you're going to make mistakes. And that's what we learned about Buzz Lightyear, too, is that not everybody's perfect. But you know what? You, with friends and teamwork, everything is possible. You know, it is possible. I'm no different than anybody else. Go watch the movie and you're going to see like, hey, you know what? We all make mistakes, but, you know, it. it with, together with heart, with love, you know, uh, we can do it. Oh, as I say in Spanish, si se puede. There we go. I love it. Efren Ramirez, Airman Diaz in Lightyear, arriving in theaters on June 17th. Truly inspiring. Thank you so much for your time, Efren. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Thank you. There you go. Kuya P, Nerds World World. Take care. <laughs>